Hello everybody, welcome back to another quarantine workout. This week we are going to focus on 30 second sets uh, because this is going to be a workout that if we were in person you would yell at me if it was a minute uh, per exercise. So we're going to start off with walking backwards but we're going to do hip openers while we do that. Now if you don't feel comfortable doing that, that's totally fine. We can just do these forward which we'll do after we're going to go backwards. So we're just going to pick the knee up, rotate it to the outside and step backwards. So trying to do this a little bit slower because the balance or the focus for today's workout is going to be balance and with a little bit of hips thrown into it too. So you're just going to go backwards for 30 seconds, find a spot in your yard, indoors, wherever you want to, that lets you move for 30 seconds. And once you're done with that, you're just going to do the opposite thing, hip out and forward like you're trying to step over something and doing that for 30 seconds as well. Next one, we're going to go opposite hand to opposite ankle. So we're going to start off walking backwards, tap that ankle. If you can't tap the ankle, you can just aim for touching it and then come backwards. And then once you're done 30 seconds with that, we're going to come forward with that exercise. Now we're going to take it over here to the wall because the next one that we're going to do is called the hip swing. So this is more so for mobility. Um, we can incorporate a little bit more balance into this one by not holding onto the wall. So if you'll come a little bit closer, we can just swing the leg here. So if you want to have a little bit more balance requirement, you can have one hand or no hands. Um, if you want to make this a little bit more strenuous on your hip, you can swing the hip out, hold, relax, hold, relax, hold. So instead of just back and forth, you're using the abductors And 30 seconds per side. Same thing, we can do one hand, we can sit here and hold it. And for our next one, we're gonna go hip kicks. So for this one, I want my left hand on the wall and my left leg is gonna be working. So I'm gonna kick the leg back, knee up, kick the leg back, knee up, kick the leg back, back and forth like that. Just trying to work the glutes. And if I'm gonna work the other side, same thing, knee up, back, knee up, back back and forth there. For the next one, we're gonna go for a windmill side lunge. So for this one, we can just do 30 seconds total because we're gonna stay in a wide stance here. We're going to act like we have something in our hands. If you want to, you can grab a gallon jug of water or wait at home if you have them. We're gonna pick it straight up in the air. We're going to lunge to the right side and take our object or just our hands down to the right knee, back up for a windmill and do a side lunge, back and forth there. So 30 seconds total here. And our next one is going to be in the same position, but we're gonna hinge through the hips to touch the ground. So whatever distance you can get down to the ground, that's okay. I just want you to make sure that you keep that back flat. Okay, so we're not arching over and trying to hunch and really extending. I want us to keep the chest and the back flat. Just going down however far you comfortably can. All right, and for our last one, we're gonna take it to the wall again because we're gonna do some sissy squats. And so for that, we're gonna be up on our tippy toes. I don't know if you can see it in the grass here. And we're gonna lean back just a little bit. So the goal here for a normal sissy squat is to go down a lot farther. I don't really like that because that hurts my knees a little bit when I do that. Um, if you wanna take this farther with a hand on the wall, you can up on the tippy toes. Bend the knees a little bit and trying to lean back like we're gonna limbo under something and back up. Up on the toes, lean back, bend the knees, back straight up, back down. Like I said, if you wanna go lower, you can. I don't like that because I feel very comfortable here. I get nice work on my quads and if I go any lower, I feel a little bit of pain. Um, so like I said, do that 30 seconds a piece. Um, as per usual, I like about 30 minutes of exercise. If you wanna do more or less, that's completely up to you. Um, if there's any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. And other than that, I'll see you next week. Take care.